Hi everyone, good evening. Um, before I start a project tonight, I kind of want to give you guys a tour of my craft room. It's semi-finished. I still have a few things I need to um, get done, but at this point, it's pretty clean after going through everything and arranging and, you know, getting rid of some things and stuff. So I thought I would take you guys through what I've, how I've got everything set up now. So without further ado, here we go. All right. So this, let me see if I can bring you guys out some maybe. No. This is my toolbox, and um, that is where I store 99% of my molds, and I'll show you <clears throat> that those bottom drawers are really deep, and so they house all of my very large molds, and then this drawer... <laughs> holds all of my tray molds and all the flat molds and then more flat molds my spheres and then this has all my like my animal molds frogs all that kind of stuff and then they it's kind of accumulated some more because I'm running out of overflow this is where all of my um, uh, <laughs> my, uh, coaster molds. Good Lord. Coaster molds are. That's one drawer. And then this drawer has like my chest pieces and then all of these kinds of molds and just some riffraffs. And then these are all the supports that go around the bigger molds. So that's what's in that one. This one has just miscellaneous like Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, just miscellaneous stuff. And then this one, more coaster molds and my letter molds, um, heart molds, mostly coaster molds, but that's what's in that one. And then are you guys ready for this top one? <laughs> Voila! So this top one has all of my stuff that I use in my shaker molds, my seashells, stuff that I've made and is what I call my seconds. And then these are all of my shaker molds in here. And these are all shaker molds, and then also all of my uh, spinner molds. Um, so this drawer has a lot of stuff in it. So that is what it looks like from afar. And this toolbox, we got at Lowe's, and it was on clearance, and I love the lime green, and so that's kind of my theme in here. And then it has a wood top that I cover, and it kind of collects overflow of everything that I've made. So these are some of the things that you've obviously seen in my videos lately. And then this is a glass heat mat. Um, I don't use it very often, but I got it for Christmas one year. And then next shelf, that's where my regular printer, my Cricut, and then my sublimation printer because I make shirts. And um, so, and that's where this area is right here, which... My husband is getting ready to cut me a board that's going to be even with this counter. So that'll be all taken care of there. And then I'll step back a little bit. Up on the next shelf is where I have a ton more of the things that I've made. And it's got some LED lights up there. So those two shelves 
are all stuff that I've made. And they're just up and out of the way. And then, of course, my Live Your Dreams <laughs> sign. Okay, so if we shift this direction, then this is where all the magic happens. So originally when I came into this room, I was using those shelves to put everything on. And so coming closer, right now I have like all my textiles, which are my rocks and all that. I need to get some more of those jars because I am running out of room. These are all of my excess glitters and stuff. And then over here are things like these that can go in shakers because I used to make a ton of shakers. And then my glass rocks for blooms and then all of that stuff can go in blooms and then if you jump down here these little things hold like my bearings for my spinners and then there's a bunch of lights I have different lights in here then the spinner centers and then these have also all of my, let me move my men, moon men here, for my uh, tassels for my keychains. And then down here are all my keychains. And of course these are all my little moon men that I've made. Don't you just love them? I love moon men. <laughs> um, and then this whole counter area here this is where I iron on my shirts, I do my Cricut, and all of that stuff here in this area. And then this over here is my backflow for resin. And this shelf here holds all of my extra cups and stuff, so I have it close at hand. My, um, uh, my UV resin and my scale. And then when you pop up here, this shelf up here holds my resin and my silicone, my magic pour, my glycerin, my gloves, my alcohol, my extra textiles, my extra alcohol ink, my pipettes. And then if you go to the clear up to that top shelf, I've got my vacuum pump oil, my spray adhesives, my canned air, extra glass stuff. And then I've got all my extra uh, paddles, some acrylic paint, lights, just all the extra overflow up there. So then if you jump down here, and I know you guys are probably wondering what that is. Well, let me explain. It is a homemade um, resin warmer. My resin stays in that container 24-7. And it's heated by a heat mat that has a temperature control. And so my resin stays at a consistent temperature 24 hours a day. I created that and I've used it for almost five years now and so that's how my resin stays at a consistent temperature it's never cold never bubbles anything like that so if you want to know any more information about that you'll have to ask um, then back here is where I keep all of my UV resin my uh, shaker mix, all my super glues, my tape, and then in here is where I keep all my q-tips, my micro brushes, my, um, my uh, silicone brushes, all of that stuff, and then these keep are all my spare lids and just spare everything. Over here is where all of my 
pens, scissors, files. These are all of my mixers, paddles, and then over here is where I keep all my spare brushes and um, sticks, my big torch, my spare alcohol, and then here is where I keep all of my cups. I have a little turntable thingy that I keep my small ones in, and then I keep my big ones right here, and my wipes, and then I have a piece of acrylic on the top of this with a mat over it, and this is where I can transfer things back and forth. And then UV light, and that is basically, let me get back so you guys can see, that is where all the magic happens. That's where I do all my work. So let me give you another 360 here. And these tables, we got them at our local Menards, and they're leveling tables. They have leveling feet, so when you put them together, they're made of steel, and they have wood tops, and so they level, and they're metal. And so I bought uh, metal, let me rephrase, my husband bought me metal accessories, so I've got a glove holder, I put my tape on these, it's got a outlet that's magnetic and then on my table I keep a spinner that's got all my sticks my alcohol everything I use on a very regular basis every day and then back here if you guys don't have some of these what did I do with my extra ones I must have moved them anyway these things are great if you don't have any of these, you can get them cheap online, I think three or four of them for like eight or ten bucks. But these are what I stick my tools in that I use every day. And then this is a spinny. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And it keeps all my silicone brushes, my uh, mica powder brushes, my tweezers, and my... Um, Sharpies. So all of that stays right there. So I have it handy. And then that's my UV lamp and my work area. Now, this is what I just ba basically just added, and it is a godsend. My husband had these extra shelves at his office and he was gonna throw them away, and so I stole one. But they're made out of steel, and basically what I have on these shelves are all steel, so I moved all of my mica powders, all my alcohol inks, all of that stuff over here, and I have them on these plastic risers, and so I have them all organized by brand. And then all of these um, stickers and all this stuff that I had sitting over there. I got magnets and with hooks and so now I have them all hanging up in the back and all the way around. So now I can just reach over and grab what I need from the back of there. And then on the second shelf I have all my mica powders and my glitters down there and the reason there's a keyboard and a mouse is because up on the top shelf is a computer and I have it connected to the internet so if I want to watch YouTube while I'm working or whatever which pff, I'm supposed to be doing a video so how hard is that to watch YouTube and make a video at the same time um, and then down here is where I keep all my paper towels, my microfiber cloths, and my glue gun. And then this has all of my Cricut extra paper cut and stuff like that. And then on the back of my door is where I have all of my iron-on and my Cricut vinyl. So I keep that all back there. 
And then this is where my vacuum chamber is. And then this thing, it, I used to have these two things under my counter, but I brought them over here and I stacked them. And so in every drawer, like I keep all these, remember that bow that I just put in my skull? Look at all these bows. Marva, remember you just bought one? Look, I, <laughs> I have all of these that are almost just like yours, except for my daughter got them at the Dollar Tree and they've been sitting in here since last Halloween. So I need to figure out something for those. And then this is basically where I keep all of my spare bottles and syringes and, you know, stuff like that. And then this is where I keep my tape, my tape and stuff. And then this has um, some LED lights, strip lights, and then a thing of pins. And then this drawer has my keychain holders and I keep my split cups in here. And then this one has all of my extra things that I've made coaster wise and were don'ts. <laughs> They're, they're all my don'ts. And then moving down here, this is more of like my electronics uh, drawer where I keep like all my, you know, my tripods. And I have a little bitty UV lamp, seashells, just extra stuff like that. And then this is a drawer of things I've made in the very, 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 very beginning, and it's just always been in this drawer, so that's where it stays. And then this is where I keep all of my pamphlets for everything. Anytime I buy something, I keep the pamphlet, and that's where I keep it is in this drawer. This drawer, um, it's kind of empty, but it's got sandpaper, um, just really nothing. I guess I need to fill that up. This drawer has cups, sticks, coaster backing, my Halloween background, some clear bottles, just in the Q-tips. And then this bottom drawer has all my handles that I use for my trays. And then I use these for making molds. So that's what's all in there. And then up here on this thing has all of my jewelry making stuff that's been hanging for a billion years. And then my girl boss sign. And this closet. Ugh. All of this stuff from this shelf up is all my jewelry making stuff. And it just sits. Just sits and sits and sits. And then down here, I all of these containers, they open from the front and I have stored stuff. Like that one down there has UV lamps in it. I have so many UV lamps. And that just has extra tape and stuff in it. That has microfiber cloths. That has um, plastic bags. Um, some other miscellaneous Halloween stuff. That has all of my um, balls for snow globes. That has wax cups in it. And down there, that one has Halloween stuff in it. And I don't know what the bottom one has in it. And then all of that stuff down there, those are all wine bottles that I saved because I was gonna be so creative one day and decide to make uh, wine bottle wind chimes and I haven't done that. So I've got three boxes of wine bottles. Anybody want them? Um, cups and That pretty much and I can on this shelf thing I can hang up everything off of hooks. So it's great So yeah, that is basically the tour of Resin Me Up in a nutshell So yeah, what do you guys think? 
I, I want to get, you guys are going to laugh, but for over that closet, I want to get one of those. You remember back in the 70s when they had those uh, beaded curtains? I want one of those to put on that closet just because I think it would be cool. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Let me see if I can get Milo's attention. You guys can see Milo. Let's see if I can get his attention. Milo! There he is. There's Milo. Say hi, Milo. Milo. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? <laughs> He's being shy now. Well, you bark every morning when we're recording. <laughs> I was trying to get a good angle so you guys could see him, but hey, come here. Come here. There he is. There's Milo. Say hi, everybody. Oh, you good boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to see you through a screen window is hard. There he is. Milo, can you sit? Can you sit? Be a good boy, sit. <laughs> he says, whatever, Mom. Get over yourself. So that's the big guard dog. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys my craft room because I've been constantly talking about it, about how I'm doing things and changing things and moving things and going through things. And, and so I just thought I would kind of show you what, what I've been up to and why I'm not smacking out videos every day because this is what I've been up to, so. Yeah, so tell me what you guys think, if there's anything you'd change, or whatever, but that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to start another project um, here soon, probably tonight, maybe later, and I think I have a pretty cool idea of something I want to make, so, all right, guys. Have a great evening. This is my studio slash craft room tour of Resin Me Up. This is where all the magic happens. So now you guys know that I think this room is probably 8 foot by 10 foot. So I've crammed all of this in here and organized it. So this that's about what size it is. So, All right, guys. Thanks for coming in with me and taking a tour of my little bitty room and and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Night everyone.